Hey YouTube, this is Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome for the first time. I am currently almost 30 weeks pregnant with my second child after having a 10 year gap between the two. So we've been relearning all the things about having a baby and what we need, etc. And I wanted to do a, now that I've done the nursery tour video, which you can see if you go back to my previous video, I wanted to do a quick what's in my diaper bag. You can see right here pre baby so this is like again I packed it to bring you know to have it at the hospital but just kind of thinking about like what are the things I'm going to need to have in his diaper bag um, trying to remember from when I had Willow like what actually you know I used what I didn't use and I figured I would do one now and then do another one of these videos once he's been here for a bit and I've actually called out you know some of the things that I may not be using as much of so let me first start by showing you the bag that we got. So this is the Eddie Bauer First Adventure bag. Um, so we're a very active family. We like to hike and backpack, kayak, camp, etc. So I wanted a really functional bag that I could wear that was really comfortable, like had good straps, um, but you know could literally take us from like a hiking trail into a let's say a mall or whatever the case may be. So. We went with something um, really functional, lots of like good straps on it, lots of good utility. We haven't obviously worn it out to see like what it's like, uh, you know, in practice, but so far really loving the overall structure and size of this bag. Uh, the bag on, just if I look at the outside of the bag, so at the back there is one pouch um, here. So there's a, a place where you can put some things. Um, there's a pouch on the side. There's a pouch on this side, which I'll get into what they all do in a moment. There is a zippered pouch here and a big pouch in the front that actually has both the big part as well as a smaller part here. So, and then of course the main part of the bag. So there's lots of different storage um, built into this and, uh, and that's like really important to me because when I own a bag, I like to have a lot of different compartments because I like to get very organized with it and this bag has all of that. So super excited about it. All right, let's start with the outside um, pouches. So on this side of the bag, there is this pouch here. This one's actually a wipes pouch. Um, what I like about it is the wipes, white packages that we're buying slide right in, they fit perfectly, and we can just obviously, you know, open it up, grab a wipe, close it back up, and Velcro this down, and it's super simple. I don't need to go into the bag for it. Love that. On this side, there is a zippered pouch, and this zippered pouch on this side is actually insulated, so you could throw a bottle or anything else um, if you want to keep it either hot or cold. Um, and of course, like you could always slide an ice pack in if you're trying to keep something cold. But I really love that this is like an insulated pouch, and I love that it's on the outside of the bag and not inside because then. The things we put in there, if it does get a little bit of moisture, won't blend or bleed into everything else inside the bag. And then on the front, this is just a smaller zippered pouch. Um, I'll try to show it to you here. Smaller zippered pouch. We don't have anything in this one right now, but I figure it's like a good, you know, front pouch to maybe slide your phone, um, keys, anything you kind of need accessible quickly uh, versus again having to go into the bag for. All right, so opening it up, we have, again, this front pouch. So the front pouch has the small zippered section here, and right now I have breast pads in there, so, you know, the good old Lansano breast pads for my shirt. And then this zippered pouch here does have two compartments in it. Um, so I've just put Clorox wipes. Again, in my nursery tour video, I <laughs> mentioned that no, these aren't for baby, but I do love having Clorox wipes to disinfect surfaces, um, especially like changing tables if you're out. We, like I said, we do a lot of hiking and those washrooms and, and facilities aren't always perfectly clean, which is completely fine, but I love having the to-go Clorox. And then we just have like small to-go um, products. So lotion, diaper, ointment, um, that kind of thing. Nothing else in that section though, but I just wanted the quick 
quick grab stuff to be right at the front as well. So moving to the inside of the bag. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the bag at the moment. I have, um, again, this is going to likely change as we actually have him here. I haven't, just for the record, I haven't put in the bag a change of clothes or um, you know, any extra, like any burp cloths or blankets. So those would be placed inside of here as well. I just haven't done that yet, mostly because we were still washing a lot of his clothes. So that is one thing that's missing from the diaper bag at the moment, um, but I'll definitely be adding that in. So inside the bag, there is a large compartment area, which has tons of space, as you can see. Um, it has a little kind of very thin um, compartment separator in there as well plus two pouches that are actually have an elastic grip on them which is really nice and then there's another zippered part as well which uh, we'll likely use for any of his dirty clothes um, or diapers or things like that I like having a zip one so that it can like at least contain a bit of the smell I, I know it's not perfect but a little bit however in here right now we do have the um, this is from Skip Hop, I believe. Anyway, this is a portable change pad. I really love it um, because, uh, as I'll show you in a moment, it does have like a lot of space. It's got the pillow for their head. It's got the like um, fold out flaps so that it makes uh, everything you need really easy and accessible. So there's, you know, wipes are right here at the bottom. Super simple to get to. Um, we put some diapers in there. So this will be probably our primary change pad, which will also be able to uh, be easily moved from bag to bag. So that's the other thing I was looking for was like the ability to have this be a separate um, thing that if I, if I did want to switch to one of our other bags, I could easily just grab this and go. So that is that. I also got these from Melly. Uh, they're pacifier holders. So Willow never took a pacifier, so I'm not sure that this baby will either, but I wanted to have them on hand just in case. And so um, I like the idea of the little cases versus just throwing them into the bag. You basically just twist them and then um, the pacifier, this is just one of the cute ones we got, but it is all silicone and it's one piece. The other thing we got that's in here is one of these Diaper Genie on the go, um, basically diaper uh, bag things. It's kind of like if you own a, a dog, um, it's kind of the same idea uh, of the dog poop bags, but this is like little diaper bags. So it's just like you put them in here, you can pull a bag out, um, wrap your diaper, and it contains the smell. And of course, like makes sure that if it's like wet at all, that it's not going to go everywhere. And then you can bring them home. So again, for us, Yes, a lot of times you're in places where you might have access to a garbage can. However, when we're hiking and kayaking and doing all of our outdoor activities, we don't. So we needed something to make sure that we pack out our garbage and not attract like smells. And if it's really hot outside and we're hiking, that diaper is going to smell pretty bad by the end of the walk. So we just got those um, for those uh, kind of moments when we are out and about. And again, that's so that's all we have packed in there right now. I will be adding a change of clothes for him and blankets, as I mentioned, um, mostly just burp cloths. Uh, and then of course, depending on the season, we will need certain things, you know, just like if it's hats or mitts or whatever the case may be. So I do have to put in his clothes in here, but otherwise I think that's all I'm gonna put in this bag for now. And yeah, I'd love your feedback. Let me know if there's anything obvious that I missed. Um, I mean, I haven't packed, you know, for example, like a pump in here. Although I do have, I got um, the LV reusable breast pads as well. They're not pads, they're actually like silicone things you just put on, on your nipples. Um, and then I have the, it's like a hacka, but it's the LV version of it. So it's uh, essentially, you put um, the little collector uh, on your non-nursing breast to collect the milk um, that is letting down from the boob you're not nursing from. And I will be packing that in here as well because that'll be really important, as well as uh, you know breast milk bags um, so we can collect that um, as needed on the go as well. So I 
think that's it though. But yeah, so let me know if you have any feedback about this. I can say so far, really loving the utility of this bag and I'm super excited to actually take it, you know, out on um, a hiking trail and just see how it performs. And um, of course we'll have the stroller at times too, but for what we do as a family, I can see us uh, wearing him a lot and backpacking in what we need supply wise. So yeah, so that's really it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.